Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back, Surviving Mars. Today, I wanna do some beautification stuff. So there's gonna be a little bit less base development type stuff happening today. A little bit more, uh, just just a little bit more charm added to the base. We might add some things that you know help us gather resources or whatever, but uh, this is a toxic pool. Been working on getting rid of that. We've also been getting some seeds delivered over here because I didn't have that done. I keep forgetting to put seed depots everywhere because, I don't know, I just assumed the Universal Depot would cover seeds and it doesn't. So I've been doing that. Uh, so all the stuff is opened up now and it looks really cool. Uh, I just I just gotta say, this is awesome. But there is some stuff here that I wish I could see. Like I wish I could more easily see the boundaries between domes. Like I guess I can see this little tunnel bit here. But is the tunnel really necessary now that these are opened, right? Why can't people just walk across, right? So, like, certain things about the game, I understand from a game logistics and, like, you know, from a coding perspective, that would be really weird to do. But maybe instead of having this be an actual tunnel now, we just turn this into a sidewalk or something. I don't know. It does look like it's opened up, though. And we can certainly see inside it now. Is it still dusty or does it... Oh, see, now this is what I wish the tunnels were doing before, right? I wish the tunnels... I wish we could always see through them like this. Because this is, this is what I was hoping to see. It's very cool. So, beautification stuff. Let's talk about it. First thing is this right here is kind of an eyesore. We're going to turn this into a little lake. Because I think that will just look better. So I'm gonna go to Lake, and somebody brought in a comment to me in a previous video recently, and that is that the lakes can actually have their size, their their configurations changed. I had no idea. So like for instance, this large lake right here, I can put this here, and that will look pretty good. But you can notice the tooltips, which you know I rarely read. It says that I can use the brackets to style, like to change between visual variants, and you can change the shape of them as you go, which is kind of nifty. So we can put a little lake, let's say here, and this will make it look way different. I'd like to wrap Project Morpheus, but unfortunately I can only rotate it in fixed increments. So we're gonna go like this with it. There's gonna be a little lake here. And then we'll take the pipes and we're gonna bring them over like, let's say, I guess I could go in a straight line. Like that. And this will create a lake here, which will look a little bit better. And hopefully, you know, the lakes have a tendency to improve the soil quality of the surrounding area. So maybe we can get some of this ugly stuff sort of patched up that way. It looks to me like the areas where the solar panels and stuff are sitting are also kind of not able to be... Unless I'm wrong on this, where is this? Yeah, see, we are getting coverage here. They're just not getting improved because of these buildings. But you see, we're basically getting no effect from solar panels anyway. So part of me also thinks maybe we just get rid of this and we can put another lake here if we want to. The idea being I want to get these stats to 100%. And I think once these are at 100%, we can probably call that the end of the game. Uh, that You could just call that like the ultimate statement of success. Uh, where I'm going is forestation plant. Let's put it over here. And again, I want to make, it, make sure there's a connection at least to a to a, uh, a drone hub. So we're just gonna hook it up from here. I know it overlaps a little bit, but I'd rather not make other drone hubs if I don't have to, just for the time being. There's another toxic pool here. We could take care of that later if we want to. And as far as our loss of atmosphere, it still outpaces. We don't need to set the loss of atmosphere to zero. You know, we can we can live with what I've got. I don't need any more of these. All right, beautification stuff. Let's talk about that. I would like to see trees and stuff through here. The soil quality is just not quite upgrading as quickly as I would like. And I'm not sure how to fix that. I'm going to put bushes and trees in here to see if that changes anything. No more deposits left on this. Let's get bushes and trees put in over here if we can. Uh, same thing here. Let's get bushes and trees put in whenever you're able to. And we'll just kind of switch these to that. 
I think, um... I think we'll go with grass, actually. And I'm gonna put in bushes. I'm gonna control click this. Uh, we'll go with trees. I'll control click that and that should enable that configuration for all of them in that spot. All right. So, this stuff's gonna get built, but it's not really that high a priority. I have it actually disabled because it's not that high a priority. And this is almost done. Leveling the ground, 32%. Yeah, it's working. It's doing its thing. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. Got another idle extractor here without any deposits. Bye. Look at the food. That's cool. There's a lot more food to go, too. All right. So with this being done, where is it? Over here. Nope. Where is it? You. With you having taken care of that, let's move you back over here so you can properly manage these things. And then we can get, a, get another one of these put in over here to help with this area, which again, if we wanted to min-max it, we should go about here. But there's no drone commander that way. So maybe we just put a drone hub in place here, and this can cover all of these things. Maybe. Huh? What do you think? Is that a good idea? Probably. So we can focus our other thing somewhere else. Let's just do it. This will connect it to power. And then we're going to need some scrubbers in here to help us with maintenance on this. Although, is it really necessary? It's one electronics. We're making a ton of them. I don't think the scrubbers way out here are necessarily a good way to go. I mean, over time, they will pay for themselves. Because spending 16 electronics on two scrubbers, over time, that, that you know, because eventually we would have done 16 electronics of maintenance on this. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. How's my lake? Ah, uh, here we go. See? So the lake's going to have a slightly different shape this time. So cool. Every once in a while, you guys have a good comment that actually helps me. <laughs> I love picking on you guys, I do. There's going to be viewers out there that, that don't get it. They're going to say, wow, he's really salty against his commenters. He doesn't like his community. <laughs> no, they're just not going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, let's put you here. This is a good spot. And then also forest station maybe kind of over here. As long as there's a drone commander in, in range, seems good. And let's go ahead and put it this way. I know there's a couple of YouTubers that I've seen, some really big channels actually, who have um, completely disabled their comments on their videos because of the insane amounts of, you should do this, you suck kind of comments, right? And I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm, I got a pretty thick skin. I think I can pretty much take whatever you guys can handle, uh, dishing out. But uh, at the same time, I really encourage all of you, every single one of you, to explore your options in terms of creating video content for yourself and see what challenges, new challenges that brings to you in terms of like what you miss, because you're going to miss things. Oh, I all my rockets are on Earth. Wow. Uh, let's bring some cargo then, I guess. We'll, I don't know, pop some machine parts, bring some electronics. I've got so much money, I don't know what to do with it all anyway. Let's bring a bunch of drones. We can do that. Maybe a couple of commanders, actually. You know, let's, let's bring another one. Yeah, that's fine. A couple more drones. Launch. We need to rename those rockets, too. After this video, I'm going to go back and rename all the lakes. Because I'm also dropping a bunch more lakes. So just leave me some more lake names because I'm dropping a whole bunch more and we could we can name them. Like this new one here is the one next to Project Morpheus, right? Uh, we could also go with, let's see, a huge lake out this way. But I want to change what it looks like. So we'll change it to, ooh, I kind of like that. It wraps around the mountain. Oh, can I make it wrap? Yeah, 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 make it wrap like this. Oh, I liked it. Yeah, right here. I like that. Is there enough room for a dome? 
questionable. We might be able to make that work. Or I put it on this side. No, I don't, I don't want it to be super close to that one. So I'm going to do it like this. We're going to wrap it around that, like that. Excellent. And then we'll just drop the pipes in like so. Perfect. I don't know what our water surplus really is because the water extractors only suck out what they have to. But considering these are this one's under capacity, I'm willing to bet you there's a lot of other ones that are too. This one needs to be hooked to power. There we go. All right, so these are starting to actually do something now. They haven't been doing anything because we haven't been able to keep them provided with seeds. But now that there's a drone hub here, we can keep them uh, seeded, if you will, uh, really easily. Let's put another forestation down. How about right over here? This should be good there. And we can keep this provided with seeds as well. Go like that. Excellent. Let's get rid of that. Cool. Beautification. All right. So, we could lay down some large statues. This provides comfort bu bumps as well, I think, because of our bonuses. Complete. So, we could put in some, let's say, over here next to the landing pad, the launch pad. That's pretty cool. There's some of these banners, wide banners and stuff. Little Japanese flag right here. Right in front of the trade pad. I kind of like that. And uh, this large monument. How about we put this... Oh, it would have been cool to put that right here. Kind of for all these guys to see. Something to inspire the kids. Uh, yeah, we can see it. They can see it over the canyon here. This is pretty good. We can put that right here. I like it. Planetary Projects is done. And that gives us... What? Uh, seed vegetation improves vegetation and seed clouding. Okay, let's take a look at that. So we have seed cloud seeding. That's really easy to do. Let's send a bunch of rockets. Let's go with... We'll just send cargo. It's not a big deal. Let's just send a bunch of electronics and machine parts. We'll launch that. We'll send another one that has the same stuff. We can go polymers here as well. Why not? Just bring a bunch of supply. We can handle it all. But the idea is getting rockets down to where we are. Because we don't need them on Earth anymore. We need them here so that we can do the planetary stuff. Look at that monument, huh? One giant leap for mankind. And we can name the monument. There you go. Name this monument. Go for it, guys. <laughs> Like, I don't know how many of these things I'm actually going to rename. I, I say, hey, give me stuff, and then sometimes I forget that I asked you. <laughs> because I'm, I'm so busy recording content, I don't... I don't know. There's so many things going on in my life that to, to keep track of it all is... It's pretty tough. Like, some of you guys are watching these videos back to back to back to back. And so things are fresh in your head, and you're going, man, it's been five videos. Why hasn't he renamed this yet? Without really understanding that, like, I recorded the last eight episodes all in one sitting. So, that's probably why. I haven't been able to see your comments before is there. Let's amplify this, and I'm wondering if we can get some more people living in here. You know what? This is a cool spot for a dome. Can we do another dome? A barrel dome here, would that be cool? Will that work? It does work. I'm wondering if that will reach. Is it enough? I kind of like how wooded this area is, though. I think I'm going to go with a smaller dome. This little basic one here instead. Can it go closer? Uh, I can put it here, though. That's doable. It's right close to the lake. What is going on here? What is going on here? What? Whoa. Okay, then. So, like, keeping these natural bits doesn't seem like it's really necessary because it's going to do these crazy things anyway. Well, all right, then. Wow. Uh, let's land Riori, which I have to rename this rocket, too, I guess. 
I don't have to. It's I don't know if it's worth my time to rename it. We're get, actually getting pretty close to the end of the series now. I know that will make some people maybe a little bit sad, but I'm also thinking about a really super hard mode complete. attempt as well. 100% atmosphere terraforming. Done. We have 100% atmosphere. How cool. Okay, so now what we can do, if we want to, although we are gaining waste rock still, so keeping these things running is probably still fine. But we have to keep them running because there's no magnetic field we, we still have to do that. So what I'm thinking is we just leave them alone. There's no reason to amplify them. It's perfectly fine. We have a huge surplus of energy. Gravity engineering is done. And we're starting on mega satellites now. But this gives us the ability to build the mega dome. We also now have the ability to build the city, the central city, right? Um, what's it called? Let's go here. Capital City, the largest city on the planet and entirely open air. A bold monument to the epic success story that is the terraforming of Mars. Atmosphere should be kept breathable at all costs. In case of atmospheric failure, everyone in the capital city may suffocate. So, it's a risk to live here. It's also very large. But it's a risk to live here. And I'm thinking, I kind of want it to be here. It seems like a really cool place to put it. But another part of me also thinks that right here works better. Right? Because it's already kind of open here. But at the same time, wouldn't the capital city be fit better fit up here, like on the top? Maybe here. We get all this stuff out of the way and put the capital city here. It will work, actually. It seems like it'll work. It's kind of weird. Weird. Vista? Vista? No cable connection. Really odd how it's doing that. So it's going to give us... Huh. Alright, hold on. If I put you here... I think I can. I think I will. Let's get rid of this forestation plant. We're going to get rid of the sensor towers. They're not really necessary anymore anyway. We're going to get rid of this large dumping site and we'll move the dumping site over to, let's say, here for now. Just a little bit out of our way. That's not that far out of our way, actually. Let's move it over here. Hopefully the drones will get on that. We're going to want to get you a few additional drones. More Mars quakes. All right, let's grab our next rocket. We'll put it there. Uh, we probably want another landing pad because we do have quite a few rockets now. So we could put another landing pad, let's say here. I think right. Mm, yeah, because I'm gonna connect the tunnel this way. We'll have another dome here if we want to, but the capital city can go right here next to this giant behemoth of a thing. I can kind of dig that. Let's move this out of the way. And what I'm hoping for, hoping to see, is that this waste rock gets taken out of here. They're working on it slowly. Let's get a whole bunch more drones in this area. Because if Capital City's going here, it's going to need to be covered by a lot of drones. And this is going to take care of all of it, I think. Capital City can go right here. It's so close to being... This needs to be leveled. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Flatten the ground. Right. Let's make it bigger. Let's go all of this. I want it all flattened. It all needs to be totally flat, please. Access waste rock. Does this mean that the waste rock, it's going to be done automatically, right? Because we don't need to bring the waste rock there. Kirito is ready to land as well. Uh, landing pad's done, so we'll drop them down here. And then these are all ready to lift off. So let's do these planetary things. Seed vegetation. Transport a large payload of seeds to spread cyanophytes, green algae, 
lichens, and more complex vegetation on the surface of the planet. Okay. You can do that one. Go. Uh, next one. We've got cloud seeding. It takes two souls. Improve local soil quality and help plant life. Sounds great. Send this one. Go. Uh, when Kirito lands and is ready to take off again, we'll Colonists get him. Are departing. Start it sorted out. Let's get a fuel depot over here. We'll set it right next to the landing pad. It's fine. And then... This is almost done. Oh, please tell me we can have a full... I want the full thing. I don't want it to be cut into it at all. So this is getting flattened. We got the... Oh, uh, the dozer is here. That's cool. Nice. Okay, so let's, let's try this out. Dozers, get away from us for a second. I want Capital City right here. Oh, it fits. It completely fits. Do it. Do it. And I don't care about the concrete deposit. Whatever. Are we still going to see this, though? I don't want to see the icon. I don't I don't really... Eh, whatever. It might have worked better to have it over here, where it was near the vista. And then there's also this. We can get water from this, too. Very low. We should uh, look, at, look into this, just so we make sure we have it. Water extraction can go here. We do a pipe that way. And then we want to put scrubbers down right here. It's a good spot. This should cover both of them when it expands. And then we'll also grab cables like that. And we'll work our way that way with the scrubbers. Because surprisingly, I'm not actually scrubbing these two. Not that it matters. We have tons of resources. So this capital city only takes 150 metals and 150 concrete. It doesn't seem that hard to provide for. I just kind of wish this concrete deposit wasn't here. And part of me wants to drop like three or four concrete extractors down just to get rid of this. But wait, hang on. There's a vista right there. Hold up. Capital city. We're going to move over here. I want the wait. Is it still in range though? Yeah, the Vista's in range. That's all that matters. All right, we're going to put it right... Right here. Yeah, and then there's also one of those research things right there, too. So we can get that in range as well. Right there. That's the new capital city home. It's a little bit closer to the lakes here. 57% on this wonderful lake. We got to drop another one. How about right here? We'll go with uh, a really huge lake here. Let's change the shape to be this one now. Fun See what this one's like. We'll go about like this. And then we'll just connect the pipes up to it there. We have enough water output that it, it won't matter. We'll have more than enough water, like, at all times to make this happen. Service area increased. We cover both of those. Excellent. We're actually going through Waste Rock incredibly slowly. We're, we're gaining, so... Excuse me. We're gaining. So what we can do is uh, drop another Waste Rock processor down. Maybe two of them. Because we're generating waste rock here pretty fast amongst all these things. Eh, one will be fine. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. That's awesome. We're going to want to have a lot of forestation around this. So I'm going to go with one, two. Mm, yeah, let's go two, three. And I know we're covering, we're kind of overlapping here. Actually, this is okay. But I would like to get some of this to be green and stuff too. So let's drop one more forestation right over here. It says it's not in drone commander range. But we're going to change that because this place is going to have its own drone hub closer by too. So it, it's so big. Like the, even this drone hub can't fully cover the whole thing. 
That should tell you how big this is. This this drone hub cannot fully cover the capital city. That's interesting. We're going to put it right here. It's going to be like a drone hub that's dedicated to the capital city. And we'll bring power to it like kind of anywhere. We'll just kind of go like this. That brings power to it already. What about water? Where does water even hook up? I guess it's got to be these little nodules here, right? So we would be able to bring it in from this side. Yeah. We'll just go right along the metal here and connect to, like, that. Excellent. Oh, it's going to be so good. This is going to look really cool. I can't wait for that to be done. Capital City, man. Okay, what else do we have? This one's almost 100%, so we'll get that water back. We're still producing a ton of oxygen for basically no reason. Kirito is ready to go. Let's see what kind of planetary thing you can do. Uh, We could have you do this one, I guess. Because that raises up the water. And then we just it's just a waiting game on all this stuff. Let's get concrete extraction going just so I can kind of get rid of this. Because I don't really want it to be there anymore. Something to work on. And that will provide power to this. We're going to do a seed depot right over here next to the drone hub. And then we'll also want to get some scrubbers, I think, over here. We can do one on this side. It'll cover the maintenance for both of these two things. We do it here. We cover both and potentially get the other one. Yes, this is, this is okay. We can't possibly cover the capital city. As far as... I wonder what will be here. Like, do I get to choose what all these things are? There's three spots for spires. It looks like I get to build it out the way I want. Oh, this is gonna be cool. And it's right kind of on the Funding edge. Received. So the people who live here will can see over the canyon. They can walk over here and see over top of this. We might want to flatten this out just to give them an even better view. But I like how I'm building this over a place with already red ground. So it kind of just adds to the green that's already existing here. This is a really nice little settlement. It's done. It's done. It consumes 100 power. Okay. So, let's get started on design. First, let's make sure it's quarantined. So nobody moves over here like a silly billy. Because they're going to want to move here. This is absolutely going to want to have its own shuttle hub. And again, I know you don't have to put these really close by, and I don't care. I want them close by, and that's all that matters. We're going to put it right here. Maybe the capital city has two of them. Because you never know how many people are going to want to ride a shuttle that day. So we'll have them all hooked up to power anyway. All through the forestation plant. And we can drop a scrubber down over here. Just because we can. Right here ought to do it. It'll cover everything. Okay. This needs to be a high priority. To, to make that so, we'll bring you over here so that you can build it. We'll want to have a universal depot put in. Uh, storage universal. There's fine. No fuel, no rare metals. Okay. Now, how do we want to deal with this? Well, I think... For spires, arcology is a good thing to have. Maybe even two of them, just to give people super comfortable living. And then the third one could have been the medical center. I, I could also do the sanatorium. I like the medical center here for this, though. So what is it going to take research-wise to have that happen? Is it, is it going to be a long time? We'll get to the artificial sun too. I, I, I see 
I know your comments. So I, we're going to build all the wonders. I'm not like going to skip any of them. But what I'm looking for right now is this. 4,500. Oh my god, it's going to be easy. We're making 10.4 a day. Yeah, we'll put the medical center here. And then everything else. Let's see. We're going to have some apartments. My goodness. One, two, three, four. Who wants to live on this side? Dude, can we... Hold on. Can, yes. Yes, I think we can. Blocking objects. Oh, does it not work? Oh, it does. It it definitely does. Yeah, connect these two up. Oh, that's awesome. Which means we can put another dome over here if we want to. One here later. And we can connect these all up. Oh, that's... That's something else right there. I love it. Perfect. Barrel dome will even fit over here later. Look at how big this is compared to the barrel dome. It makes the barrel dome seem really small, man. It's like five of these total capacity. Let's grab... Uh, the obelisk. Something for decoration. We don't want to block. You know what? We'll put it... Uh, this already has this big thing. Maybe we'll put this obelisk somewhere else. This is kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. We'll put it there. All right. So they're going to work on this stuff over time. Then, maybe a little bit of piping redundancy. Is that needed? Bring pipes over here. Pipes can't be destroyed, but I'm, I'm thinking about it from, like, a practical perspective. If I was, like, building this colony, I would want the water coming in and being, you know, stored and everything pretty close by. We can store water here. That puts it in range of the scrubber. Well, it almost puts it in range of the scrubber. Eh, doesn't matter. Kinda. Yeah, it kinda matters to me. Uh, we can put it here. And th that way it'll connect like this. That'll be alright. Hopefully this gets done soon. Yeah, let's get it uh, a few more drones. And then we're going to want to make a bunch of drones, too. I think maybe this one has too many. We can remove a few of yours. And we'll give it to this one when it's built. All the rockets lifting off, going on their separate missions. Very nice. Let's make sure that this scrubber is taken care of. We'll go this way with you. Over here, we have to make sure this stuff's being taken care of as well. So we can put that here. When this expands, we'll put it here. And then that will cover this stuff. Shuttles. Let's get you some more ships. This is done now. We'll load this up with all of our spare drones. There we go. Excellent. Funding received. All this stuff gets built. Microgravity medicine is done. So now we can grab the medical center spire and put it there. Central city has... The capital city has excellent medical coverage. Okay? Excellent medical care. Only the best for the people who live in our capital. So what else do we want? Dome services. Well, we gotta have a casino. Certainly has to be a thing. Probably two of them, to be honest. We'll put another one over here. On this side. Dining services. We're gonna have restaurants kind of spread out throughout the, the city. So they can, you know, 
eat wherever they want. Space bars, kind of same thing. Pop in a couple of those. Make sure we have excellent quality homes and stuff too. We could actually look into some smart homes too. Um, if we wanted to do smart homes. They take a lot of electronics, but I think that's probably okay at this point. So how about we... Yeah, let's grab smart homes and also... Uh, we could do the research lab thing. Extremely rich water. Let's do the colonist thing, and then we can also put the core heat convectors. Really not... Nah, maybe. We'll put it on the schedule. I, I kind of want to see all the new stuff anyway, even if I don't need it right now. Cloud seeding. Viewed message. In a display reminiscent to formation flying shows... Formation flying shows back on Earth. That's where it's going. Special... In a display reminiscent to formation flying shows back on Earth, special shuttles flew wave after wave in and out of the water vapor clouds above our colony. Nothing happened for a short while, but right as the spectators began feeling down, the wind brought the first drops of fresh rainwater. Rejoice. Excellent. Launch Space Mirror. New project. That's what I want. Look at this. Outcome plus 10%. But the rocket is lost. Interesting. Launch a highly reflective surface to focus more sunlight on the surface of the planet, increasing global temperature and the power production of all solar panels. Huh. The rocket will be lost. I think that's fine. I got extra rockets. You know? Like, whatever. We can even buy another rocket. I got $40 billion now. Money is not an object anymore. Let's grab another apartment right there. They're going to be super comfortable here. Let's do a couple of nurseries. And we'll want schools and stuff, of course, too. So let's go one, two, uh, three, uh, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. Let's say nine nurseries. And we'll do two schools. One here and one here. And then we'll want the Martian University, of course. Probably a couple of them. We can go there and here. And then uh, let's put a couple more apartments in. We want a lot of people living here. I can't believe there's so much space left. It's ridiculous. Uh, playgrounds for the kids could be a thing. That's okay to have. Yeah, a couple of playgrounds. We'll, of course, want some bigger uh, stuff. Like a large garden, for example, over this way. Maybe another one here. We could get the uh, uh, security station is a must. Probably two of them is a good idea. Right around this capital area, this big area here. We could obviously want grocers, so we'll put those in. Maybe instead of the big grocer, we put in a bunch of small ones. Here, here, here. You know, all these little areas here. We could let people get their groceries that way. It's kind of an idea, you know? And what about an electronics store? We're using a lot of electronics as is, but... We're going to want to station these around. People want to have the need for it. Art stores are going to be a big deal. We put those in too. One there, one over here, let's say. Uh, what else? Maybe another diner. You never know that dining need. It's a big deal. Is it necessary to have research happening here? I'm kind of not thinking. I'm kind of thinking not. There is so much left to build on this thing. I really wish this concrete deposit was gone, though. That's going to bug me for a while, I think. That's unfortunate. Cool. Okay, let's spread this up. And we're ready for all this stuff now. Uh-huh. 
Is this out of range? No. We have all this waste rock, though. We want to get rid of that. Let's put the waste rock dumping site over here. It's kind of... That's kind of lame. I don't like that. Put it over... Hmm. This one's full. Let's put it there. I don't necessarily like it. But it's better than having it lined up next to the capital city. Vista. Yeah, no shit. It's going to look really good, man. This is done. Look at how cool that is. It just put all these giant rocks up there. This one's getting done, too. Uh, we have so much water. We're, we're good now. As far as terraforming is concerned, water needs, all that stuff, we are... We are rock solid, you guys. Now, other things we can do for beautification is we can put these rock formations in. Stylish composition made of native native Martian rocks. And it costs us a little bit of waste rock to do that. But it looks better than just... Like, I can put this here, for example. And it's almost as if I just sort of left it. This needs... Does this need power? I'm going to hook it up anyway. I'm not sure if it does. This definitely needs power. There we go. All right. Bring on the seeds. That's all I got to say. We'll go bushes and stuff here too. You are going to go with grass and bushes. You are going to go with grass and bushes. And we'll hopefully get all those sorted out with seeds. Okay, should we start letting people in here now? We got the basic needs sorted out. <clears throat> I think. Maybe a few more grocers are needed. Yeah, let's make the grocers a bigger priority. All these little areas can be places to get your groceries. I love it. What about these workshops? I need these workshops in here. I think that's a fantastic idea, too. We'll look at that. I'm going to leave this the way it is for now, and we'll look at doing that later. But I think we have more than enough electronics production throughout the rest of the colony to provide the perfect life for everyone in the capital city. Now, the capital city has no dome structure, so if we ever drop below breathable air, like if we ever drop below 95%, that's it. Yeah, uh, people are going to start suffocating because there's no way to close this up. But because my waste rock is currently going up, despite using some of it for concrete, right? I'm gonna, just going to amplify this because why not? This needs power. Hello. Raise it up. And then we want to put another one in right here. That should cover everything that we're concerned about over there. Let's bring you down. We'll go on another vegetation, soil quality expedition, whatever you want to call it. I was going to make this, but I'm starting to think we don't really need it yet. Not until we get like the capital city ready to rock. Then we can start expanding. Speaking of expanding, I think I need to make sure that births are allowed in all the domes now. Although we are dropping in food. So food production, let's talk about that too. Open farms, man. These are actually pretty good. And we don't really need... Uh, I'd rather not get rid of all those trees. Where is good soil quality for an open farm? Right here? If it lets me? Right there. This is cool. It's a good spot for it. Let's put in pipes like this. Is this within drone commander range? Well, it has to be, because these guys are flying around. Yeah, it, it certainly is. Barely, actually. Barely. But it is. We should get some more drones being made. Let's order a whole bunch. There's no reason for you guys to work during the night. Let's order a bunch of these. We'll go, I don't know, like 50 of them from this assembler. Well, however many that is. 48. And then we'll order some more over here. So you guys can hammer out a whole bunch of drones for me. 
And then I think over here we'll have you do the same thing. This is going to suck up a lot of electronics really quickly. But ultimately, our, our colony will be much more capable because of it. Okay. We can now take off with this rocket if we want to. How about we send you to launch the space mirror? Yeah, I don't mind this rocket going away. It's not one of our main named rockets right now, so go for it. The rocket will be lost. Rocket assigned to the special uh, uh, project will be lost. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. I'm fine. Go for it. Just don't take the rare metals with you. Uh, seed vegetation. Three, two, one. A collective gasp and then cheers. The project was successful. A rocket filled with billions of seeds emptied its storage unit in a well-orchestrated chain of steps, spreading the seeds over a vast range of land. Most of these seeds will take root and the resulting swath of green land will begin pumping out oxygen and the fledgling Martian are into the fledgling Martian atmosphere. Very cool. We're up to 40% now on that. What's the next milestone for this? It looks like sustainable mixed trees just needs our temperature raised. And then we'll have a wild vegetation boom at 30%, which we apparently already had. And then 60% and 90%. So the vegetation is the thing that's the slowest. Which I suppose makes sense as that's the only parameter that actually requires on living things. So to me, I think that's an okay thing. Wow, this thing's almost full already. Super large water tanks. Let's get a couple of batteries over here too. We would always want to be redundant in our capital. So we'll get a couple of batteries there. And we'll put another one there and there. Uh, let's not do it there. Just keep it in range of the scrubber. Let's go with it right here. That's fine. I'm just trying to spread it out so it's not right next to the other one. Not that it really matters all that much. How are we doing over here? See, it doesn't look like this drone hub has a whole lot to do. So we actually don't need this many. I can take a few away from you and dump it into you instead. Because I feel like you got a lot more to do. Let's increase the area of this one and make sure it's connected to power. There we go. Outstanding. More rain coming down. And we can do seed vegetation again, which I totally want to do. Let's send another rocket. We'll bring some polymers since that's what we're short on. We're also spending a lot of electronics. So I'm going to pump a few more of those into our system as well. And I think let's do one more commander and a few more drones. Let's launch that bring that down to us as well but as you can see like once you get to this point in the game the game becomes very straightforward very easy it's just a matter of step by step improving the the conditions of the planet but our people are actually really well cared for now yeah this is all done there's no more water there it's only here now and we're still 15 plus on water so, big deal. All these lakes are done. This doesn't have power. I can fix that. We'll just have to go out from this side. And then I'm going to go over here and hook up to this one. There. Now we'll have crops. Capture iced asteroids is available. We can send that one when we're ready. When we have a rocket. Completed ice capture. Yep. 89% on the water. Temperature is kind of it now. And then vegetation, of course. But with temperature going up to 75%, we'll be able to have mixed trees. And I think the trees, you know, they kind of spread their own vegetation, right? They, they sort of form their own seeds and they spread themselves naturally, which is really nice. Let's bring you down. This is almost full. These are charging at maximum speed. Russia's trying to trade us seat, trade us food for 50 machine parts. Not necessary. So what I want here is cover crops, I think. Yeah, cover crops to improve soil quality by 30%. And then we'll do 
uh, potatoes. Yeah, we'll have you go back and forth. So this will raise it by 30%. The potatoes will lower it by 20. Then we'll raise it by 30. Then we'll lower it by 20. And by doing that, we'll always have great quality crops. Speaking of which, let's come over here because this is still doing the same cover crops and we don't need to. So let's get you on potatoes. And we'll do the same thing. We'll do cover crops, then potatoes, cover crops, then potatoes, the back and forth. Now, how is my soil quality around here? Are you out? You're out of deposits. Goodbye. Let's make sure that all this waste rock is in a site so that the shuttles can access it. And I think you guys are still pretty busy over here, right? It says low. I'm going to add a few more here. I'm going to add a few more to you. Also, you're not being, you're not being scrubbed. Let's get you in a scrubber. Uh, we'll do it. Well, I guess we'll just do it right next to you. Kind of like this. Now we want to, we want to cover this as well. If we put you here, I can have this one cover. I think you can cover both, but I also want to cover the dome. So how about we bring you here instead? I think this here. And then we'll bring it Research this way complete. and then this way and we'll cover these three things. Okay. This episode got long. I was hoping to have it uh, kind of wrapped up before I started getting back into logistical stuff. But, I mean, that's just the nature of the game, you know? So how about we get you... Uh, interesting. Okay, let's move this. Buy concrete. Buy food. Move the food depot to here. Uh, maybe in the middle. There's another food depot there. Right there is fine. Scrubber is going here. Launch the space mirror. View message. A be the beauty of a space mirror can give pause to even the most seasoned astro engineer. As the space mirror moved into place and turned stray rays of the sun towards us, a gleam of pride manifested on every observer's face at mission control. Excellent. Court heat convector is done as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab oval dome on the schedule. Core heat convector. Let's take a look at that. Ah, uh, should I do? I should do this in the next episode. This is really long right now. Delivers water to an underground pipe network and effectively transports heat from the planetary core, improving the global temperature. Increases the local temperature in cold areas and protects nearby buildings from cold waves. There's a lot here. We'll put a... I don't know if it actually... Oh, hello. You're quite large, actually. Uh, okay. I was kind of hoping to put a dome over here, though. I was flatten this out and put a dome here, but... Uh, well, we could put it here. Would you want to live next to the core heat convector? Yeah, go on. We'll put it there. It's cool. And then we'll hook it up with a pipe like this. Outstanding. Okay, guys. That's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Come on back for the next one. Uh, we'll continue beautification. We'll continue expanding the capital city. And I think we're actually going to go ahead and get... You know what? I'm going to get rid of this one. And we're going to put more workshops on the schedule. So we'll get some of those in uh, into the capital city too. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.